Good evening, everyone. Hi, everybody. Uh, sport live chat. And this time with uh, a great, great Olympic champion, Daniela Silivas. Uh, soon she'll be coming on. She'll be with me here live. But right now I see everybody's coming up. Hi, Tali Dagan, Tali Sheffer, Zava Zisman. Oh, gymnasts and coaches from all over the world. Uh, soon we will have uh, Daniela with us. I see your request, Daniela. We'll wait a minute more for some more people to come up. Uh, this is a great honor to have uh, Daniela Silivas with uh, us here. Uh, I see also Jacob Levy, who was uh, an Olympic gymnast in 1984 in Los Angeles. Ehud Kramer, I Ehud. This is so nice to see everybody coming up. And soon uh, we will see Daniela with us. Oh, my friend, uh, Pablo Carides from Spain. Hey, Pablito. It's good to see you, my friend. Oh, this is so nice. This is so nice. And I see all the friends from Gilgulim. Uh, uh, yes, this is nice. So soon we will have uh, Daniela Silivas with us. Hi, Shai Kadosh. How are you? Daniela, we have uh, many fans, uh, gymnastics fans from Israel and from all over the world. Hi, Dorini. And soon uh, we will ask you to join us. Hi, Orly. I'm waving everybody that I know that I recognize by the name. And uh, soon we will have Daniela with us. Uh, let's bring her on. Daniela, if you can ask for uh, another request to come up. Simona. Hi, Simona. Simona Roshovsky. Roni Eitan. Somebody is writing here. Karmit is writing one of the best gymnasts ever, for sure. For sure. So if you're asking again, it's Daniela Silivas that is coming up. Soon she will be with us. I'm very happy and very pleased to see all of you joining us, all the followers. Hmm. And here is Daniela. Let's bring her. Okie dokie. Waiting for Daniela. Hey! Hello! <laughs> so, so happy to see you, Daniela. How are you? Good, good. Thank you. How are you? And thank you so much for inviting me to do this interview. I'm kind of nervous. I've never did anything uh, with Instagram Live, so I didn't even know how to get on. <laughs> You know, just just uh, relax, enjoy it, just like we are talking to each other, uh, normal conversation. Actually, I will explain the, the viewers and the followers that this kind of uh, sport live chat that uh, I do lately, it's uh, it's uh, actually pretty new project. Uh, it okay. started it started in the coronavirus virus time, so uh, um, we do it for 20, 30 minutes. Okay. This chat. Um, we will talk, you know, about everything. And at the end of, of the chat, we have uh, uh, some questions of this and that question that you have to answer oh, no. very quickly. Now, now I'm really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Don't worry, don't worry. Hey, listen, you have so many uh, followers from Israel Gymnastics that they know you from the past. You probably know Zava Zisman, the coach, and Orna Shai, the, the two Romanian coaches yes. that live... Live in yes, Israel. So, you and know, I remember uh, um, 
you know, going to Israel to train and all that stuff. So as a, with the national team, so it's always fun time to be there. So uh, we always love that when we got a chance to visit and uh, train over there. And just, and just before we start, just before the, we start, I would like to tell all our uh, followers that yesterday you celebrated your birthday. So yes. happy birthday. Thank you so much. <laughs> How was it? It was really nice. I guess, you know, just uh, being at home with the family, eventually, soon, hopefully, I will celebrate with some friends. Uh, mm -hmm. But just being at home with the family and enjoying um, just a um, day to relax. And uh, it was perfect. And, and I, think, I think it's your daughter or somebody is writing here, Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. Oh, no, it's my best friend. <laughs> it's your best friend? Okay, I don't know. I only say mommy, so when I talk to my kids or something, I always say, like, mommy, just do this, mommy, do that, so he knows But that. you know, so it's, fu know it's funny because, because in Israel, we also uh, say mommy. If we like somebody, usually it's a, it's a mother who is talking to the children, or if it's a boyfriend and girlfriend, they call each other mommy. Yes. Yes, we do that too. I think Americans don't understand that. It's like, why you call yourself, why you call mommy? I'm like, I don't know. It's just uh, in our culture. So it's always yeah. mommy. So I guess we, we probably brought it from, from Romania to Israel. But anyways, um, I would like to, to mention, you, you said that you're very happy to be my guest and, and uh, uh, that I'm hosting you. But listen, I've been reading... You know, first of all, you have regards and kisses from Marian Dagulescu because he was talking to me uh, about a week I saw ago. It. Yes, yeah. yes, I yeah. saw it. I was like, if he can do it, I can do it too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So listen, you are one of the best gymnasts in the world ever, ever, and you are so modest. And Thank so, you. I mean, we, we, we see each other somewhere, you know, around the world. We meet yes. in the big competitions and everything. But, and you're always so alive and happy and, and, uh, and really um, cheerful. But, but, but I always tell myself that this woman, this girl, this Romanian gymnast is so modest. You, you won six medals in Olympic Games in Seoul in, in 88. This is crazy. I never think of that. So when I travel the world and when I go to all the big competition, all I can think is that I get to see my friends. I get to see people that I grew up with. So that's my main reason to be at all the competitions, seeing you, seeing all the friends that, you know, we grew up together. It's a small world, uh, gymnastic yeah. world. So it's always nice to see everybody that, I remember when I was a gymnast, you know, judges, coaches, uh, gymnasts, former gymnasts, it's always nice to see everybody. And that's exactly why I love to go to all the competitions and uh, enjoy uh, my friends. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, let's, you know, some people that doesn't know or, or never read about you because some of them are really young gymnasts that are following us now. Uh, when, when it all started, I mean, back then in, in Romania? Uh, well, um, I started gymnastics when I was six. Um, it was at the time when the national team moved to Deva, my hometown, and they opened the national training center. Coaches like Bella and Marta were looking for new kids to start gymnastics in my hometown. And mm -hmm. um, they just saw me at kindergarten and they thought that I looked like a small gymnast. And they asked me if I wanted to join gymnastics. So I was like, okay, I'll try it. And uh, my parents were happy to just kind of get me out of the house and bounce somewhere else. So uh, that's how I started gymnastics. Were you thinking ever about uh, other sport or doing something else? Or you just started gymnastics and that's it? No, I just started gymnastics and that's it. I never actually try any other sports. And, um, you know, I, I said before in Romania, especially at that time, we only had um, elite sports. So if you started a sport, you started because you wanted to be the best, you wanted to be in the Olympics. So you couldn't just join a sport and just do it for a few months and then go to another sport, you had to be chosen and uh, selected to do a sport. And it was a, like a privilege to be selected to do a sport. So I, uh, I'm actually glad that um, I stuck with gymnastics and uh, I kind of, you know, I achieved the dreams that I wanted to 
uh, have. So, my God, you achieved so much, really, uh, unbelievable. So, if if uh, if you could go back uh, now, when you have all the knowledge and all the experience and all the achievements and all what you did in your life, and you have you can go backward to to uh, little Daniela Silivash, who is uh, eight, nine years old. What would you tell her? What would you suggest? Probably not to give my coaches a hard time. <laughs> you know, now as a coach, I look back and I was like, oh man, you know, I used to give my coaches a hard time, you know, just not wanting maybe to do that conditioning or thinking it's too hard or, you know, stuff like that. And now as a coach, I do understand you know, how much it takes to be an elite gymnast, how much work and dedication it takes to to go all the way to the top. So I guess looking back, now we laugh. We, you know, I always laugh with my coaches. Uh, now, you know, when we talk to each other, how I used to just like have a bad attitude sometimes in the gym, just didn't want to do stuff. But most of the time I was, you know, I, I loved it and I wanted to be there, but we always had like hard days when we didn't want to do that. Yeah, so yeah. I think going back will be, um, sorry coaches. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to, I want to stop you for a second because I see some, some uh, people that I recognize from around the world and it's important to mention them. I see David Heldelston from, from Bulgaria, uh, who is a former, uh, who is a gymnast. He's, uh, is a, is a gymnast who made the Olympics for Tokyo. So good oh, luck wow. for David Yay. Heldelston. Yeah, I, yeah, and I see a friend of mine, Shelly, Shelly Kay, who celebrated yesterday also her birthday. So happy birthday to Shelly from happy Daniela birthday. Silivas also. <laughs> um, if, you, if you could compare uh, your, uh, your hard work at that time as a gymnast at the team, at the Romanian team, to, to uh, gymnastics today, do you think you, we work the same at this time, at these days? Uh, the same as we worked there uh, back then, or was it easier there? Was it more uh, more your talent? Um, I think we worked more hours. I think right now we're smarter, we know more, and uh, we really don't have to spend 40 hours a week in the gym. Uh, but that's how much we train at that time. Um, as a national team member, we were in the gym 40 hours. A week every week we had only a few days per year to go home and visit our family but I think we learned from that and um, gymnasts this time it doesn't it's not like they're not working hard but they don't train that many hours that yeah. we used to train uh, but we had compulsory too so for us it was always train compulsory in the morning train optionals in the afternoon so we had that extra uh, training to make sure that we perfect the compulsory routines. Yeah, and and uh, thinking about the fact that the, the the apparatus has changed a lot during the years. I mean, you did uh, elements, the elements that you performed at that time at this kind of apparatus. This is amazing. Um, yes, I wish we had the floor that they have today so we can talk yeah. about that on this floor, not the floor that we had before. And uh, I guess that's what it helped me have the great technique that my coaches helped me with uh, because that's how I could achieve all the elements, the skills that they were so hard to do on that yeah. kind of floor, on that kind of um um, whatever you know, apparatus that it was a little bit harder for us to do it, and you really, really needed uh, the technique to be there to help you with it. Yeah, I would like just to, to mention the the audience, the, the followers that Daniela Silibash with the she of course uh, represented the Romania. She won six medals in Olympic Games in Seoul, ten medals in World Championships. 10 medals in European uh, championships, which is a lot, a lot, a lot of respect, <laughs> Daniela. But I would like to ask you, if you, looking back at all these uh, medals, uh, competitions, can you mention one uh, competition that you remember the most, uh, that is the most important for you from well, all? Well, kind of you say the Olympics because it's the Olympics, you know, and I'm... Uh, 
that was my goal from the time I started gymnastics when I understood what gymnastic was and the competition. But mm. looking back for me, it is um, the year 87 when I went to Moscow. Moscow, and Moscow it, yeah. it was my only all around. And I joke with my best friend because that's his, uh, bet, you know, he loves Russia. He loves so the Soviet Union. And uh, I was like, I want the only all around gold in the country that you love, you know? Uh, <laughs> so it's always fun to think about back to Europeans and the 87 World Championships. Uh, that was the only time that we won as a team. And it was just uh, so much joy to be together with the teammates that you grew up and you trained together and the coaches to kind of celebrate the team winning, not just you by, you know, uh, yeah, on your own, yeah. but as a team, we won. So I think that's my best memory as for a yeah. competition. Definitely, Moscow '87 was uh, the best. I mean, you you won three medals, three gold medals, and then all around, which which is uh, really crazy. Um, you know, you were talking about winning with a team and not not only uh, as individual. I remember that uh, just uh, recently, uh, Uchimura from Japan said that the most important thing for, for him is to participate in, in Tokyo Olympic Games with the team and win more than any uh, other individual uh, achievement. So uh, this... I think it's important, you know, you are in a, kind of like an individual sport, you know, you want to compete for yourself and all that stuff, but you train as a team. For us in Romania, we grew up together. We were in the gym, um, you know, like I said, 40 hours every day, like every week we train and all that stuff together. So to see that achievement as a team was so much more important than, and like happier times than just winning by yourself. It's, it's not like you're not enjoying it, but the team was so much uh, more fun to win and enjoy together. Yeah. Daniela, tell me a little bit about your journey from Romania uh, coming to live in the United States. How was it? When was it? Why? Um, the why, I don't even know. Um, my dream was to move to France. My coaches, uh, the national team coach, uh, was, is in France and I wanted to move there. I'm really close to them, uh, to Adrian Goreac. And that was my dream to move there. But I came here when I was 19. Uh, I came to visit. And um, I don't know what made me decide to just decided. I decided to stay. And... Um, it was well, it's, it's, not, it's not bad in, it's not bad in no, United it's States not. after all. It wasn't my dream because, you know, um, I only traveled here to, for the American Cup when I was 12. So I really didn't know anything about United States. Um, and it wasn't like a dream, oh, I want to move there, you know. So to me, oh, France, Paris, I want to move there. Uh, I knew friends. Uh, my brother lived there. So it was like... I was like still going away from my family, but having family and friends over there. When I moved here, I didn't know anybody. I didn't know English. Oh my God. Um, so it was a little bit hard to adapt to this country, but I'm more than happy that I chose to move here and it shows 28, 28 years later, I'm still here. In the same, at the same place in Georgia? Yes, yes. Yeah. And and uh, your life over there, you are coaching, you have a gym? Yes, I don't have a gym. Uh, one of my good friends owns a gym. Mm -hmm. I coach over there a few hours a week, just kind of helping. Um, I never had that uh, desire to coach high-level gymnastics. Uh, I like coaching young kids, the learn of gymnastics. Uh, they still love it to just do a cartwheel, a handstand. And uh, that gives me time to spend a lot of time at home with my kids, my family, my husband. So that's what I really liked it. Uh, but you have a daughter that is a gymnast. I saw a few uh, video clips of her. She's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know, when, when I had my daughter, I was like, ah, she's never going to be a gymnast. And she chose to be a gymnast. And uh, I had to kind of readjust my thoughts and know that it's her gymnastics and she's gonna achieve whatever she wants. And uh, I'm just trying to help her, you know, become the best that she can be. So yeah, sometimes yeah. it's not, you know, uh, sometimes it's kind of frustrating because I'm like, I, you need to do this, you need to do that. And <laughs> you know, I don't want you to hear when I was a gymnast, I used to do this. And uh, 
Sometimes well, I tell that. you, th there is a lot of pressure, even if you won't say anything, that because her mom was one of the best gymnasts ever, so it's a lot of pressure. It for, is, for, and I'm trying not yeah. to put pressure on her, but hearing from everybody mm -hmm. else, oh, you want to be like your mom? And she's like, no, I don't. And I'm like, it's okay. You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. I understand it absolutely. I, I was a gymnast at the Israeli national team a long time before uh, you were at the top because uh, I'm a little bit older. And uh, I've, I've been a coach for, uh, for uh, many, many years. And my son was a gymnast in the, at the national team. Oh, wow. So, cool. so it, 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 it was not easy, I mean, to coach him. I was his personal coach. I was the, mm -hmm. the coach at the national team. And to, to work with him, uh, besides the fact that he's a good boy and he was a good listener and everything, but... But we all always brought home gymnastics with us. I mean, it, yes. it never and ends. It's hard not to. It's hard not to. I coached my daughter until she was 10, 11. And then, um, lucky that I found great coaches here that I trust. And uh, I know they will, you know, do the best for her. So I really don't have to coach her. Um, but it's, it's hard because every time I go in the gym and watch her or watch her at competition, you know, I'm always like, point your toes, be tight, come on, you know. It's hard <laughs> not to, you know, get involved when I know mm. a lot about gymnastics. So um, I try mm. very hard to stay away, but it's very hard. <laughs> it is. Daniela, uh, I would like to ask you a question about um, Romanian gymnastics. The, the, I mean, it, there was such a... Uh, um, uh, a high level in the past and uh, you actually were the best in the world um, you Russians you know we always competing against each other and if I'm looking back at the last 10 years and the fact that they the Romanian team didn't make Olympics it was a kind of, of shock you know to to see that um, Romanian gymnastics has gone so low why, what do you think happened? Uh, I mean, of course, you live in the United States, but I'm sure you are involved and you know all these people. And uh, I, know, I know the Romanian communi community. You are very warm people and you stay close to each other and, you, and, and you're still in touch probably with many people from Romania. What happened over there? Well, I think it's very hard to say that one thing happened. I think people change, kids change. Um, during my time... We didn't have a lot of other things outside the sport. So sport in Romania during the communist uh, era was something that you were so proud. You were, you know, I don't know. It was just proud to be a, an athlete in Romania at that time. Now kids these days, and it's not just in Romania, it's everywhere. Uh, they have so many things outside a sport. Uh, they have the electronics. They have everything to... Make them, yeah. make them hard to get in the gym. And just face it, you know, gymnastics is such a hard sport um, for a young age. So not that many kids really, really want to spend hours and hours in the gym when they have other things to do. Um, I think just kind of like the mentality of parents um, need to change over there. Um, I had Every time I go to Romania and I take my kids, I take Ava to the gym because she needs to train. Yeah. And they'll be like, oh, I can't believe you left your daughter to gymnastics. She's going to suffer. And I said, no, she loves it. She wants to do gymnastics. I know it's hard. She knows it's hard. But if you do something that you love, it's really important to learn to work. It's important to um, learn how to have hard times, good times in the gym. And uh, I think that is going to make her a better person in the long run. Um, and when I look at gymnastics, yes, it was hard. Yes, there are so many days when I cried and I didn't want to do it, but I'm so grateful that I have coaches and teammates that helped me. So I looked, I think, different at gymnastics than most people over there do. And uh, once they realize, and I hope it's going to, you know, they go up and down, I guess, every country. You know, at one point, Romania, Russia was at the top. Now they're not. They're going down a little bit, and hopefully uh, they will come up again and uh, learn how to, you know, get that, want 
into gymnastics again for the kids yeah. and for coaches and a lot of coaches left Romania because it was hard over there. So yeah. when you take a bunch of coaches that knew gymnastics and left, you are left over there with not that many coaches, not that many gyms, not that many uh, gymnasts that wants to do it. So I know they're going through a hard time, but hopefully, hopefully soon it's gonna, they're going to rise and uh, we'll see some good gymnastics. Yeah, I hope so too. Uh, you were talking about the skills that a gymnast is getting at the gym and the skills for life. I'm not talking about elements and physically. Uh, this is definitely one of the best reasons why to send children to gymnastics. Uh, and, they get. Yes. Um, yeah. I guess, you know, you look at, I think you have to look that gymnastics is not just an Olympic sport. Uh, you're not doing gymnastics just to become an Olympic champion. That can be your goal, but you can do gymnastics to be fit. You can do gymnastics for fun. You can do gymnastics to learn how to work. Um, there's so many benefits of the sport. And um, I think the way they were thinking during the communist, it was like sport, you do it to be the best, to be an Olympic, yeah. to win medals. And that's it. When you didn't have that anymore, people didn't know that this is actually a good benefit uh, to any kids, to adults. So um, s slowly, slowly, I think it's going to start, uh, they're going to start understanding and um, knowing that it's, it's good for you. It's it, anybody, yeah. it doesn't matter what age, it doesn't matter what sport, to just be involved in a sport, it's wonderful. I agree. Uh, let's see for a second. We have some messages over here. Emma from Great Britain. Thank you for a wonderful interview, Ilan and Daniela. Uh, we have uh, jo just now joined us Alexander Shatilov, our oh, Israeli no. champion. <laughs> Hi. I'm in gymnastics, and I'm like, I see some gymnasts. I'm like, I'm so excited. Yeah, this is great. This is great. Okay, um, the word happiness. What does it mean for you? I mean, just describe for me happiness for Daniela Silivas. Happiness, being with family and friends, the ones that you love. I think that's what's going to make you happy. Okay. Uh, what makes you um, afraid? What are you afraid of? The dark. <laughs> the dark? Are you serious? <laughs> oh yes. And I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Heights. Okay. Yes. All right. You know, it's, it's strange what you're saying now, because when, when I was a kid, when I was a gymnast, I was not afraid of anything. I, I used to go also exactly. on, you know, everything. And, and now, if you take me to the, uh, uh, you know, like uh, Magic Mountain or somewhere where you have all these railways, and, and this is scary. This is it scary. Is. Is. I That's why I'm afraid of, uh, like, I wouldn't go, um, like, um, Repelling on the mountains, uh, you know, yeah. when you like zip lining, uh, that's too scary for me. But yeah. I was never scared as a kid, so I don't know what happened. We grow up Stop. and we learn. I think from the time we started to be parents, yes. something is changing in the mind. Yeah. Daniela, um, do you have time to, to watch some movies or series? I mean, um, anything nice that you have seen lately? that you recommend? Well, uh, ooh, I wouldn't recommend anything. Um, I'm really, I love watching TV. I'm not into any like shows or movies. I like more like the criminalistic part of the, uh, you okay. know, the show, CSI, you know, all that stuff. I think that's what uh, um, I like to see how they, uh, come up with the results and all the stuff. So I think that's what I, you know, that's what I like. But I'm, do, not do have, do, and I'm pretty sure everybody knows everything. Do you have Netflix at home? Yes, that's what we so do. Much, so now I, that we've been at home every day. A lot of Netflix and a lot of you show that we've been watched before. We've been watching before, but we start again and. So uh, let, let me recommend you, because you said the, this kind of style that you like, like uh, there is a very good series. It's actually an Israeli series, but they made it for, for United States in English. The name is Fauda. So if you find it, Fauda, yeah, okay. it's, it's, it's really good, really good. So I'm hey, just recommending. Yeah, we need some like new shows, so thank yeah. you. 
Yeah, and and because you mentioned Paris before, and I guess maybe you speak a little French because I know Romanian people speak some French. But I anyway, to, and then I had to learn English, and I lost my French. So there is another good series. Is it calls uh, uh, call call my agent? But it's in it's in. Okay, Fauda and call my agent. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. What about cook? What What about cooking? No cooking here. <laughs> Well, I, I do the minimum of cooking. I'm one of the, maybe the only Romanians that don't know how to cook uh, Romanian food. My husband doesn't like any Romanian food. So it was kind of like, um, didn't learn at home to cook. So I would need to kind of like go maybe to Romania a few months and learn my mom will teach me or my sister-in-law, somebody, some friends will teach me how to cook. But um I'm not very good cook, so don't come here so, for dinner. I'll come. I'll come for an omelet. Okay, that's <laughs> exactly, okay. That's about it. Come for, <laughs> but, a but, come for some wine. We're good. That's good. That's good. I, but by the way, I love the food in Romania. I remember, you know, I don't know if you know, but I've been so many times in Romania. I have such a good co connection with with Romania and Romanian mm -hmm. people, Romanian gymnasts from from the past and from the present, and I really love your country. Uh, yeah. Even though now you are American, but I still uh, from Romanian. It doesn't oh, matter please. where. I'll always of be course. Romanian. And I remember, I remember one song that one uh, Romanian uh, um, teach me, taught me when I was uh, uh, really, you know, a gymnast, and it, mm -hmm. it goes like this: "Se formase este viață una puca de minia." So something like that. Oh. Did I say? Did I sing it right? I don't know the song, but yes, you did. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Life I is, like life it. is pr pretty. Life is beautiful. Okay, so life is beautiful, and I would like to ask you if if heavens exist, uh, and you know, at the age of 120, you you're gonna go there. Mm -hmm. How do you expect uh, God to welcome mm. you? With just one sentence or two sentences. Welcome home. Oh, because know. heaven is. Oh yeah, if heaven exists, it's the best exactly. place in the world. It's so the best why not? Then welcome home. Okay, so now Daniela, we are going to the um, questions of this and that, like real quick. Yeah. Oh no! Don't think I'm too. Not yeah. Now I'm getting nervous. You I'm are. I'm gonna be like this. I'm, I, I just remember now that your floor exercise, you were such a speedy one, so quick one. I mean, no problem for you. Don't think too much. Just go for it. It's easy. It's fun. Uh, swimming pool or sea? Sea. Morning or evening? Evening. Hamburger or steak? Steak. Pizza or sushi? Pizza. Watermelon or melon? Watermelon. Whiskey or wine? Oh, vodka. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Um, coffee or tea? Uh, definitely coffee. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio or Brad Pitt? Oh, Brad Pitt. Uh, now it's a tough question. Ooh. Putin or Trump? Uh, none. <laughs> Okay. Zero. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Goes well. Um, a skirt or um, a dress? Dress. A dress. Classic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, winter or summer? Summer, definitely. For me too. A dog or a cat? Dog. Do you have one? Do you have any animal? We have uh, two dogs. I send them for a walk so they don't bark. Really? What kind yeah. of dog? And just mutts. We rescued them when they were puppies, but we love them. So we have two because the kids kind of drove us crazy that we need a dog. So we got them dogs. It's, it's very nice that you rescued them. How many kids do you have? How many children? Three. Two boys Three. and Ava, a girl. A ages? Uh, the oldest is 16. Ava's 14, and my little one, Rylan, is 10. Okay, great. Send them our love, okay? All of them. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, Mercedes or BMW? I'll say BMW. Okay. 
Uh, football or basketball? Oh, football for sure. Football. I'm European. Uh, <laughs> of course, of course. You you still did not connect to the baseball, I'm sure. No. I know, I know. Okay, now a tough one, a tough one. Um, let's say uh, Nadia or Olga. Oh, definitely Nadia. This is not tough for me. I grew okay. up with her. I, you know, my idol. I grew up in the gym watching her, so definitely her. Are you still in touch? Yes, yes. Uh, always love talking to her. Always love seeing her, and um, I think she's one of the greatest role models for everybody, not just for the Romanians, for everybody in the world. And she's for amazing. Sure. So yes, for sure. By the way, she was here last year in Israel with Bart. They mm -hmm. came for a visit, and I was uh, the one who took them all over. We have been in Jerusalem together. So I invite you yes, to so Israel. Please. Okay, take. Take some time when things are back to normal. Take your husband, come to Israel, come to I Israel. Love that. Thank you, thank and, you so much. And I'll be your host. I mean, we, we can go around. I'll show you everything. Okay, that just come. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. That. You're welcome. Pleasure. Uh, floor or uh, uneven bars? Uh, that should be quick, but I think floor. I love the bars, but floor will you have more. I don't know, time to show your pretty gymnastics. And from all apparatus, now I'm just going to another question. From all apparatus, which one do you prefer? Is it floor or something else? Beam. Beam, really? Yes, yes. Oh, that's um, surprising. It's, it's, it's hard, but that satisfaction of staying on the beam and doing a nice routine, knowing that you can get that perfect and that you can do a perfect routine, that's really, you know something for our for us gymnasts to show the world that we can do it was it 88 when you got uh, 10 points was olympics uh, or world championship oh uh, well uh my first 10 was in the world championships in 85 in montreal mm. so then i think i got some in the worlds and the olympics too <laughs> you know i started the conversation with you the chat with you when i said that you are uh you achieve so much, so much, and so many medals, and you're such a great athlete and gymnast. And and I said that you're so modest. And I have to tell the followers that the story that that uh, just uh, recently uh, a father that has a gymnast that you're coaching uh, in Georgia is yeah. an Israeli, and he, he he sent me a message and he said, "Listen, it, I think that the coach is Daniela Silivas, the Olympic champion." And I said, yeah, she, it's probably her. And he said, well, you know, she's not telling anybody. She's not showing off. She's not, I, I want to put her on stage and say, listen, this is Daniela Silva, <laughs> you know? And that's, this is really nice. Thank you. It shows, I, a, it shows a lot being, about you. You know, I love being at the gym that I am. And it's not a huge gym. We don't have high level gymnastics, but I love being there and coaching like Alexis just coaching young kids, lower level, the start of their gymnastic career. I think this is my, my passion. So I love it. Nice, nice. I like it very much. Um, theater or cinema? Cinema. I'm not Snow? sophisticated enough for theater. Uh -huh. Snow or rain? Ooh, if I have to, I'll say sun, but I'll take the snow. Yeah. If it's just between snow and rain, there's snow. You know, snow at Christmas time. And yes. So, snow yeah, at yeah. Christmas time. Uh, I recently went skiing after, I'll say, 30 something years of uh, not skiing. I recently went skiing. So that was fun to kind of relearn how to enjoy the snow. All right. Dancing or singing? Oh, definitely dancing. Nobody wants to hear me sing. <laughs> But I love dancing. <laughs> oh, Daniela, you're funny. Okay, so last question. Last question. Uh, hope or freedom? Freedom. Because you can have hope if you have the freedom. I agree. Um, 
when when was it that uh, the the change the, the political change in in when Ceausescu and all this stuff in Romania it was i think 89 Yes, the end, of, at the end of 89, December of 89, and I was still at the national team. And uh, uh, of course, we didn't know as a national team kids, we were kind of more protected to know what was going on in the country. Um, but looking back and hearing stories and everything, definitely, you know, having the freedom to choose and um, to live your life the way you want. It's so important. Mm -hmm. So, Daniela Silivas. It was such a pleasure to talk to you, to host you, to, that you are my guest on this Sport Live Chat. Really, I enjoyed every moment. You're a wonderful person, first of all, one of the best gymnasts ever. And you're mostly welcome to come to Israel and, and uh, see our beautiful country. And probably we'll meet each other in some competitions around the world when everything is uh, back to normal. Um, I really, really hope we're going to see each other at uh, whatever, world, Europeans. I was supposed to be at Europeans this year. So uh, thank you, thank you so much for this interview and uh, asking me to join you for this. And it was so much fun talking to you. And yes, uh, hopefully I get to see you soon. And uh, I'll definitely take uh, um, a trip to Israel and uh, can't wait to see you guys over there. Please do that. And uh, stay safe. And uh, happy birthday again. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. you so much, Daniela thank Silva. You. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody who listened. Bye, 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 everybody. Bye. What do I have to do? Bye. Nothing. And.